I am just really taken aback in that I did not expect or know that the American people were so vulnerable. Make sure that his mic is off. Yeah, turn off his mic. And so weak. Um, this whole coronavirus thing, I believe it's a little bit out there. You know, there, there's something happening for sure. But I just don't know that it's as serious as we've been told. And we keep hearing different things all the time. I just don't know, right? But the way that people are reacting is mind-blowing to me. I went to the park yesterday. Well, I was walking. I walked all the way to the park and different places. And so I realized the park was open, at least a trail where you could run and stuff like that. So I uh, was uh, walking in that area there, and this old white woman came past me. She had a mask on. She was in front of me. I didn't have one on. And she stopped and went to the side. She's like, why don't you have a mask on? I said, because I'm not a beta male like you a beta female. And, and I said, I'm not a, a gullible like you. I said, your type of women are weak. And they believe everything but the truth. And that's why. And then on Friday, I was at the bank. And everybody had a mask on at the bank. Everybody and their mama. And there was, the bank line was outside, and they only let a few in at a time. And so there was a, a, a guy that I can tell if he was white or Armenian or what, because he had a mask on. Looked like the late 30s, early 40s, kind of buff a little bit. He had a mask on, but yet he was afraid of everybody. Even when they were waiting outside in the line, he uh, was standing away from everyone. And people asked, why are you over there? Oh, I don't want to get the virus. And like, but you have a mask on. Everyone else has on one. But I didn't, I mean, and I didn't have on one. And um, he asked me, why would you put a mask on? And I told him to be quiet. You're not allowed to speak to me. <laughs> I was like, be quiet. You're not allowed to talk to me. You're afraid. And so this guy eventually went into the bank. And then eventually... It was my time to go into, turn to go into the bank, and they had this big fat Mexican woman standing right at the door where, unless you had a mask on, they would not let you in. And I've been going to the bank over 20 years, longer than that. And uh, so I get to the door, and she's like, you can't come in with, without a mask. I said, yes, I can. You can't. I said, why not? Because the rule is we can't come in. And so I put my shirt up on my, right here on my mouth and right below my nose. And I said, okay, I have a mask on. That's not a mask. And I'm like, it is a mask. No, it's not a mask. You have to go out and buy one from the Mexicans on the corner. For some reason, these Mexicans are sell selling these masks on the corner. I'm like, where they get them from? And uh, like we're in Tijuana somewhere, right? And so I said, no, I'm not going to buy a mask. That's crazy. And I'm not going to buy a mask from an illegal alien. And then she, and, and so she was like, you can't come in. And so this black guy came up that worked for the bank as well. For some reason, they brought in these extra people to guard the door to make sure that you have to have a mask on. So this black guy came in, and he was like, you can't come in. He was standing behind the fat Mexican lady. You can't come in without a mask. I said, look, man, you better back down. You can't talk to me like that. I, I'm just telling you, I said, look, you better bad down before I have to take you down. <laughs> I'm all bad. <laughs> and then he's like, well, you have to have a mask. So what I did was I took my shirt off and I tied it around my head I'm like, and, and my face. I'm like, now I have a mask on. You can't come in without a shirt. That kind of threw them off when I had on no shirt. <laughs> I'm standing in the bank with no shirt. And they're like, you can't come in without a shirt. I said, why not? There's no law that says I can't come in without a shirt. You can't come in. So by this time, everybody gathered around. And so the primary workers who always work at that bank, they heard me. And when the manager came around, and she said, oh, that's Mr. Peterson. Mr. Peterson, come on in. <laughs> and so she let me in. And she said, we'll give you a mask just to have on in the bank. So they gave me a brand new mask to put on, and I put it on. 
And the, the other customers got mad. They're like, I had to buy a mask. Why are you giving him one? And uh, so I said, be quiet, y'all. And so um, the black guy that I told him he better buy it down, I have to take him down. He was like, man, I like this guy. He stand up for what he believes in. And uh, so everybody kind of smiled and was liking that. And the one guy, that, the buff guy, in his late 30s, early 40s, he went up to the teller and he did his work with the teller. And then he stood over in the corner because he had to walk past all these people with masks to get out of the building. And everybody wondered, what's wrong with you, man? He's like, I can't get out. They were like, yes, you can. Everybody have on a mask. The guy was afraid. They had to clear the line back to let him out. America, you're not supposed to be that afraid. That doesn't make sense to me. It's just, it just so crazy. It really is. You should protect yourself, put your hand over your mouth when you cough and all the good things, but you have gone beyond, beyond what you should be doing. And it's not good to let the government know that they can control you like this. It's just not good. And now they want you to take tests and they want to give you a vaccine. I may be wrong, but I believe I heard a report this morning, so someone need to check it out. Let me know if I'm wrong or right on it. But you know how the House of Congress doesn't want to come back to D.C., go back to D.C. and do work. They don't want to go back because of the coronavirus, and also they don't want to be tested. So I heard Congress people are refusing to be tested. I may be wrong about that story, so forgive me, but it went by so fast, but I think I heard a reporter say that. <coughs> and if that's true... How can they insist on you being tested, but they don't want to get tested? And what good for the goose is good for the gander. I just really believe this is control. Somebody somewhere is trying to control us, even to a point of destroying the economy. And you people are letting it happen by being afraid like this. And yesterday was a bright, sunshiny day. I don't care what you had, the sun would have destroyed it. The heat, it was like, in L.A., it was hot, real hot. The sun, outdoors, you can't catch anything outdoors. They'll be crazy. And so, you know, check it out. Somebody needs to start paying attention. I didn't know America was this afraid. We have a constitution. We have a civil rights, I mean, a bill of rights. We don't have to be that afraid, folks. We really don't. And we let them know that the more you give, the more they're going to take. Believe me, the more they're going to take.